Hey everybody, welcome back to Two Minute Tuba Tips. This time I'm going to be talking about articulation and some specific ways that will help you get a clearer beginning of your notes as well as an overall better sense of style in your playing. I like to break up articulation into two different parts to keep it simple. What you're doing with the tongue and then what you're doing with the air as well. As far as the tongue is concerned, I'm actually articulating in a bunch of different places and it just depends on what register I'm playing in. Somewhere in the middle register, right around here, I'm going to be articulating somewhere right around where the teeth and the gum meet on my top teeth. And that's sort of a general accepted place. Uh, but if I'm playing that an octave lower, I'm actually going to articulate a little lower as well. And that helps me stay clear down there, helps me... Uh, get the tone that I want as well while still staying agile. Um, as far as the air is concerned, this helps me get the kind of style that I'm shooting for in any particular kind of articulation. Sometimes we get in the, in the trap of associating an accent or a marcato accent with a harder articulation, and I'm actually not doing anything different with my tongue between that or if I was going to play legato. It's striking the same place in my mouth, um, not any harder or any softer. It's just a matter of what I'm doing with the air to reflect that style. So if I was just going to play some legato quarter notes, I'm not articulating soft, it's just articulating. My air is just moving as if it was slurry, just very thorough all the way through. Uh, if I was going to do that in a more accented style, though, I'm just putting more air at the front of the note and adding a decay. The, the way that I'm actually articulating with my tongue is not changing whatsoever. And that helps me be more consistent in different styles, uh, which will help you play in your ensemble, help you bring out certain things from your solo literature. It may help you on your next audition. I hope this has been a big help. Look for more details about this in my blog on my website, and I'm going to put that in the description down below. Thanks. I'll see you next time.